Hello everyone. Um, today, I figured I'd just play around with stuff that I have been hoarding. Like these prime mailer envelopes. Um, I have some old magazines, catalogs. And I figured I would just make a Bible journaling junk journal with everything that I have because I let me tell you when I say I save it up let me show you what I mean by that I save it up and there's even more over that way yep yeah, so I need to do something with it or recycle it and throw it out but I, I just it's the little hoarder in me, I guess. And then I have all these printables that I've had for years. Um, that I want to do something with also. So let me put those over there. This is the mailer. Um, I cut it open so that I could put my strap. All I did was cut two slits in the back. Put it through, hot glue it a little bit, and then tape it. So that way, I have a closure to keep it closed. And it'll still lay flat. So then all I did was cut this. I took the staples out. I cut it first to match my mailer. And then I took some paper because this is like newsprint and I can actually glue this these pages together to make thicker pages if I want. Um, so what I'll do hmm give me one second. Okay. I am such a hoarder. I mean I've had that forever too. Um, I mean I've got just tons of stuff everywhere that's full of fabric that's full of fabric that's full of art journaling stuff that that whole entire closet is full and I do mean full like all the way back all the way back all the way up um paints beads, art journaling books, just you name it. So, yes, I need to use it because everything I make, I will leave to my grandchildren or my daughter. So, I'll use, I'll make the cover out of this. So, let me get my stuff put together and we will construct the cover. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, look at that. I changed my mind. Um, because the, the paper was, was very bright and very busy, so I want to use it for something else. Um, I have these. My sister-in-law, Barbara, um, I think I believe she went to a yard sale? Yeah, and got this. This is very, very old. Um, I don't even know. That? But yeah, so... I'm going to use this for the outside and then one of these for the middle because I also want to put um, my binding. So I'll rip all this out and be right back. And then this one I got at Tuesday morning several, several years ago. Um, I'll probably use one of these for the front. So I'll be right back. Okay. So, I'm going to open this up and glue this down with some Fabri-Tac. And then I'll go around the edges with some 3M micro pore tape to help um, strengthen my edges. <clears throat> Sorry about that. It is allergy season, like nobody's business. And I'm just going to... It's not gonna, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to make sure that it holds still. 
Man, this stuff smells like airplane glue. Huh. Probably is. Blech. All right. And I'll just mash it down a little bit. Just so that it doesn't move so much on me. All right. And like I said, I'm just going to take some micro pour tape. Put it on the edge. Look at that, I'm not even in shot. And just fold it over. Like that. That way my edges are not so raggedy. And look, you can actually see it's not even even. But that's okay. So this is <clears throat> I'm only gonna go yeah I'll go seven and a half because I'm gonna stitch around it also and I'll use this paper here because I do like the butterflies and I will cut it because I'm not gonna wrap it around it because there's it's not big enough so let me get out my cutter here. It seems like the more stuff I get, the smaller my desk <laughs> keeps getting. Oh, oh, it is what it is. All right, so I want this side, so I'm gonna flip it over. Come, just gonna come just below seven and a half. Okay, there's that one. I'll use that for the inside and use that for the inside. Let's see. I'll use this for the back. Keep these because you make really cool things inside it. So I want that. So I'll flip it over. Go back over here. And just keep everything. So you're basically just making a junk journal for all your Bible, your fun Bible stuff that you want to do and be creative and try and learn and things like that. So what do we have here? We have 10 and 3 quarters. My ruler is very old, so I've had to write in <laughs> some of my numbers, which is fine. I can still figure out 10 and 3 quarters. So I'll just take both. And I want these at the top. So I'll line them up with my butterflies and everything that I want on the top facing out. And I will go to hmm. Boy, sometimes these cutters are hard to see. Hopefully that's ten and three quarters or I'll be bummed out. Let me sit down so I can try to see. One, two, three. Yeah. Right there. Hopefully. And I'll even keep these. Because they can make some cool stuff too. Alright, so. You know, and I should cut my insides. But I think my inside I'm going to do different. So. Let's see. That's my front. I keep the scraps. Let's see. Inside. The inside, whatever I take off the bottom, I could put on the side. Because I kind of like that. I 
or this one. Yeah, I'll just do that. I'll just cut it in half. Why not? It's a hodgepodge anyway. That's all it's going to be is a major hodgepodge because I know this is 12. I'll just go to my 6. And what did I say? 10 and 3 quarters? I should have marked that on my cutter so I can see it better, but I have to sit down so that I can see those. And actually, I could use this one for the middle piece. All right, I'll do that. I'll just go back to my ten and three quarter. Cut this. Keep this go over there. Move this out of the way. All right, so. I'm going to take this, even if I have to trim it, it, it's it's not the end of the world. And let me move that so that I'm flat here. And I can just glue that down to the middle. And I'll take this super smelly Fabri-Tac and just make sure I get it around the outside through the middle some All right, and just put it down mash it down Perfecto. Look at that. Now I can just take my two pieces and put them on. I like that. It works for me. What I think I'll do. Let me see. Yep. Okay. So I'll just hurry up and you could even use Eileen's Tacky Glue for this, which I should be using because Fabri-Tac is so darn expensive. I'll use it on this one page and then I'll close it up and save it and just grab my Fabri-Tac. Not my Fabri-Tac, duh. Um, my Eileen's Tacky Glue. And then I'll just line it up as best as I can. I don't ever go for perfection of anything. That takes away the fun of my crafting when I try to achieve perfect. It just doesn't work for me. All right, so. Where are you? Eileen's Tacky Glue. Works good. It's a lot cheaper. Is there a hole on the top? Nope. Okay, and I'll just need a bigger hole. <laughs> That's all right. So let me get this glued on. I'll be right back. Okay, got that in there. Now, as you can see, we have overhang, which is fine because all I'm going to do is trim it off. Because it's going to get sewn anyway. I'm going to sew around the whole outside of it. Alright, I like that. Now, I'll go to the front. Where is my front? Hmm. 
I'll get this glued down. I'll be right back. Now, for the back, there's the front. Glued that on. Because this is going to be a nice, textury type of journal. Okay? I have these. So all I did was pull them out, put them around the front, put my paper where it was going to go, and basically feel where they were. So now all I need to do is I'll flip it over so I can see it better where my two crinkles are. And, well, that's not going to help. Yeah, that's not going to help. Duh. I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. So, I will just cut it so that I can slide it and still glue it. Like that. Just like that. Perfect for me. There we go. I'll pull it down a little more. See? Yeah, I'm going to have that there. But I can put something around it. All right, so let me pull that out. Now, don't pull it out, Lori, because you're going to need to glue it. So, let me move this over. Sorry about that. I'll just throw some glue down. Line it up. And then I'll come to this side. Put my glue down. Put some on my paper. Make sure I've got some in the front. Maybe back out a little bit. There we go. And mash it down. Pull that straight. that piece off or I'll cut it off just this little overhang right here how far back are you you're quite far back so I'll just cut this one put it down the little piece that I take off right here I'll throw some glue on it See, tiny little piece. I'll lift this back up and I'll just lay it down right there. There we go. Perfect. All right, so I need to. Oh, what are you sticking to? Stop it. Put some on the edge of the paper. And I did. I had to water this down some so that it would flow better through the bottle because it was not cooperating. All right, so I need a piece for the outside. But, 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 let's see what I've got here. I have that, not that, but I have this. 
And this is ribbon. And I can pull the metal out. I like that. I really do. So what I think I'll do is I'll just cut this along here. Let me, because it has the metal pieces in it, pull those out. And I just roll these up so that I don't lose them on my floor because I don't need them. And I'll put them over there. Is there one in this one? Sure is. I'll grab it and just pull it out. Wrap it around real quick. I like that. I like that a lot. And that'll suit very nice. Good. Remember to put top of my glue. See, if I put my signature in first, this is not going to be so easy to sew. So, hmm. Let me... Let me sew this around the outside real quick, and then I'll put my signature in. Because... This will be nice. This will this will be a nice. This will look nice. I think it will. Yep. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. I sewed it. Um, all the way around it. And I sewed this down. I'll probably unravel this edge stitching so that the uh, denim itself can fray because I did a very close uh, very tiny stitch so yep that looks good I like it and I even left all the threads because I like those too and now our band is secure What's up? I'll just put something around that Now, now I can go ahead and take my big signature and put it in there because see it'll get thicker and thicker um, as you use it. So let's see. I'll hold it like this so that I make sure I have it smack dab in the middle of my journal. And then I will just clip it there. And I will see, I'm going to make sure it's in my middle. It doesn't look quite centered. But it's just a junk journal, so it's all good. It'll be good. Because this book isn't even centered very well either. It'll be fun. This is going to be so much fun to fill. Yep. Let me get my binding kit. Be right back. Okay, I got this binding kit, I believe, from Amazon. Sorry about the glare. Um, it has the awl. It's got the needles. And I will use doo -doo -doo, this one. I had a white. I don't know where I went. But no, that's the white. So I'll use that. Yeah, I'll use the white. Here or there. It's, it's just waxed thread. I always keep that. Yeah, I used the white last time. Alright, so let's see. One, 
two. I'll go three. Because I'll do three holes. I'll go ahead and get my needle put together. I want a fairly thick one. No, I don't really need a thick one. Let's see. Yeah. I'll use medium. And I always go ahead and get this done first, set up first, before I punch my holes. And I'll have that over here. I just have a piece of foam underneath. And I just eyeball it. I really do. I don't... It would help if I took that off. The little tip cover. Make sure I remember where I put it because it is transparent. And... I just go ahead and mash it through. Because I'm going to go from the inside... So I'll just eyeball. It's a no frills, not perfect, but it's going to be awesome type of journal. And I know I'm going through because I can see that I've gone through. All right, so let me grab my thread, move that out of the way, and I'll go through my middle, and yes, it's not going to be easy because I have to manage through, make sure I'm going straight down to go through my lace. Just pull that, leave that halfway. Now, I will turn this up so that I can see about where my hole is. And what I'll do is I'll stick it through there first so that I can see where I'm coming out. right there I'll put my thumb right next to where that hole is I'll do a little circle I'll come back out I'm still holding and I make it straight through perfect now I'll lay it back down turn it I'll move this over. Well, it doesn't matter, but I don't want to, you don't want to cut through your thread. So, I'll come back through. I'll get this threaded and I'll be right back. All right, I've got my, sig my signature sewed in, which is a fairly large signature. Um, but like I said, these pages are like newspaper, so you can actually glue them together. Um, and I have regular paper in between them and glue those together. I can take these little things that I have. Um, and after I put down, you know, whatever paper I want on here, I can make this part of that page or I could actually take one of the bigger ones and cut it to fit or I could actually just <laughs> tape it in if I wanted to. Um, that's what I'm going to be using all this stuff for. Um, I've got all my scraps that I can use in here. I mean I have a ton 
of things like uh, here. I have these little prayer sayings. I know they're, there's this, it's the sun is crazy. The sun's not crazy. I'm thankful for it. And then I have these. I mean, I have all kinds of papers that I'm going to put in here and use. Um, I'll put, you know, I can leave this where it says right here, Jesus listens. I can leave that or I can even just cut that one piece out because there's still, there's another piece of paper behind it that I'm going to glue together. Um, I'll make some pockets. It's, and it bends, so it'll get nice and worn. You know what I mean? So, let me get my front put together. Okay, I cut the piece that I wanted on the front from this. It's double-sided. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I stamped out... Pouring Out Praise. This is from Tuesday morning, long, long time ago. <coughs> okay, and then I'm just going to glue it on. All right, and what I used the ink for that was Versafine Claire's, what is this, Warm Breeze. And then I went around the edge with Vintage Votos Distress Ink. All right, well, that's it. That'll be my, my Bible junk journal to do all kinds of fun things with using stuff that you already have around your house. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye for now.